Hey guys, this is a great example of how you can live with nature right here. Cause there's, yep, you hear them? We got some gators over here, some mallards. And check it out, it's my farm. This is a nursery right here. Um, keep in mind that we use eco-friendly fertilizers that don't leach. And plus the reason why this pond is so transparent is this is what you call a littoral shelf. All these plants are doing something. You know, and even when you see uh, this little drain spout, for example, when it rains a lot, well, further protect that. Everything, we've got our, our uh, cattails, um, spike rushes, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, guys, there's no reason why you can't do something like landscaping, for example, and then not have a healthy pond. Get in here and say hi to my gator friends. I mean, look at that, though. It's crystal clear. I mean, you can see all up in there. Ooh, there's a little cotton mouth. What's up, dude? You guys always want to keep your head on a swivel down here in Florida. <laughs> look at that little guy. It's the white lotus right here. Ooh, it's been nipped off. That white water lily is actually one of the only plants that consumes its own pollinator and this flower will actually try to close up like a venus flytrap but it's pretty amazing stuff but you can see the clarity in the water you see all these fish moving around jumping around you know they're healthy and it's crystal clear water right next to a landscape you know nursery a nursery my farm over there I mean, that's what nature's for, guys. Like, it's nature's doing everything that I need it to do through my littoral shelves, you know? So it's, it's called enjoying the beauty of things and not making everything look like a golf course. <laughs> because I'm not having to put any kind of lake remediation products or pond remediation products in here to get this kind of action. I get it all from my littoral shelves. You know, so keep in mind, Lake Okeechobee had 35,000 uh, acres of that stuff, of grasses. And then after Irma, it only had 5,000 square acres. And so it may be in our best interest to take advantage of some of those invasive aquatic weeds and let them filter out the water for a little bit. But hey, that's just my opinion. <laughs>